and choppers. Da -da 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 -da. What's up, guys? Doing things a little bit differently tonight. The uh, instead of starting our videos off in the garage, as I said in the last episode, uh, Steve and I found a Nether XS650 online for 200 bucks. Actually, the guy asked for 600, and I just wrote him because I just needed parts, and I, I offered him 150 bucks, and he said, "Give me 200, you can have it." So Shannon and I, we just rode up there tonight, picked it up, and it's a lot nicer than I thought. The guy said uh, his friend owned it three years ago and actually got it running, changed some ports and did some work to it. Uh, but then the guy got in a divorce and it just sat in his yard. And so he didn't have the title for it or anything like that. That's why he gave it to me so cheap. But uh, I just needed it for the carburetor and the exhaust for our builds. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, I'm going to save the motor, save everything as much as I can. Um, but it's a good looking bike. I'm pretty excited. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to see if we can get it to start. Put a tank on it, you know, make sure it's got good fuel, go through the timing and see if we can't get it to run. Guys, I'm back to the shop now. Before I can uh, actually get into messing with this motorcycle and seeing if it's going to run or anything like that, I have to clean out my daughter's car. I went over uh, Chopper Steve's to grab a uh, his gas tank and his battery because that's what's missing on this bike. And uh, I threw it in the back of my daughter's car and when I got home... Oh, wait. <laughs> it's gonna kill me. Let me see if I can share it with you guys. When I got home, my daughter's trunk looks like this. <laughs> I reeked so bad at gas. Old Chopper Steve forgot to tell me that the cap doesn't lock. <laughs> I'm sure he's gonna respond in the video going, I didn't say that. <laughs> so, but as soon as we get that done, I'll get, uh, we're gonna start playing with her, but I gotta take care of my kid because she's gotta go to school tomorrow. I had to find a place to dump the gas that I vacuumed out of my daughter's car. I thought it wouldn't be uh, that strong. I thought it would like dissipate or something like that. Maybe I'm using the wrong word here, but uh, dude, I think I blew off what little hair I had left on my head. So I'm gonna warm up, get started on this motorcycle. All right guys, so here's the plan. Now that I'm done cleaning out my daughter's car, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, first thing I'm gonna do is see if it's got spark. I I'm gonna take the spark plugs out. I'm gonna clean them up. Since the bike's been sitting for a couple years, instead of just getting in and starting it, I'm gonna take each spark plug out. I'm gonna put a little bit of Marvel's Mystery Oil inside each spark plug hole. And what I wanna do is just get a little bit of uh, oil and lubrication above that piston, especially since it's been sitting. Because this motor, supposedly, him and his friend did a lot to it. To the extent of it, he wasn't able to tell me because he wasn't a mechanic, but he. He said, before I you know, tear this thing apart, go through it, because he believed his buddy did a lot of it already. If that's the case, if this motor's good and it's had a lot of work done to it, it's only got 13,000 miles on it, um, I'm gonna clean it up, replace the gaskets, I'm gonna put it right in my bike, and that'll put me ahead of Steve a little bit, which will be nice. <laughs> but you can tell a lot of surface rust on, on, on the carburetor. There's just, you can see, I can see some new gaskets on it, but I can also see some clear evidence of it sitting. So I'm gonna go right now, take these covers off, take the spark plugs out, put a little bit of Marvel's Mystery Oil on each hole, make sure the plugs are clean. Um, because we have a few XS650s, I noticed that the uh, plug wires were ripped or bad, or who knows what caused that. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with one of our old ones. And when I get that done, first thing I'm gonna do is to see if it has spark. And if it has spark, uh, we'll go on from there and make sure it gets fuel. And if it gets fuel, then we'll try to start it. So. I'm excited. Let's see if this works. That was easy. I also have extra plugs in case the leaves don't use any good, but they're brand new. <laughs> so I don't need to clean that one. These are good. These are surprisingly good. I'd be surprised if these guys didn't try to start this not too long ago. I may not need to. I'm still going to put the fluid in it just to be safe. I'd rather have a little lubrication up there than not. 
I went up to AutoZone. zone now if you guys have never used this stuff man um, the 83 that I have I was able to uh, unstick that motor that had been stuck for years. That's the one where all the spiders and stuff came blowing out of the exhaust. Man, I've unstuck tractors. This, this stuff's amazing. I'm not getting paid to say this. I'm just saying if you put this in your motor, man, it, it cleans it out. It, it's, it's phenomenal stuff. So I use it all the time. And uh, I highly recommend you doing the same for anything that's been sitting for a long period of time. I know a lot of guys use automatic transmission fluid, which I'm sure is... Uh, really good too. I just I know that this stuff here You just want a little bit. I know that this stuff here Cleans it out like really well So that's all we want to do is just get a tiny bit in there of quarter size When I start the bike, it's gonna smoke real bad because it's in it but um, Then it'll clean it out but this stuff is some really great stuff. You can put it in your fuel system. You can put it in uh, with your oil. It, it does really good about getting like carbon and build up. Uh, I use it a lot of time in old cars. So it'll get all the carbon build up out. Of them. So all that carbon that sits on the valves. It's like I said, if you've got an old vehicle and you, you're not in a position to, to rebuild it. And you just want to make it last. you got something that's been sitting a long time. I will put that shit in everything. <laughs> So the next thing I gotta do is I gotta replace this bad wire here. And again, I don't know if these cools are any good, I don't know any of that. So let's see what wires I got lying around. set of spark plug wires here. These look good. I'm anxious to know how that works. Because right now I already do. So let's pull this off. That's no good. This one looks pretty good. Let's get that in there. Awesome, that worked. No problem. Let's see if that gets on there good. I think it does. We'll find out. It's got like a, these things should have a cap on them. They don't. I got some spare plugs floating around. Nope, my old one was the same way. Okay, that should be right. Let's check this one now, see if it's any different. Yeah, see this doesn't look right. The plugs that they were using, um, they're all, you know, the stock plug on that XS650 um, looks like this here. This is what came out of there. That doesn't mean it's wrong, I just, I'm not sure what the hell is going on with that, so we're not going to use those. Let's go back with these. I know these ran because these were on Steve's bike, and they were running good on Steve's bike. So let's let's throw these bad boys on. Steve also gave me a good battery to use. I know he wanted to be here, but it's late in the evening, and I'm I'm just going for it. But I'll send them the video tomorrow if we get this thing running. Um, let's get these cases off so we can see what's going on there. That way we can get a battery in her. That's good. What's going on with this? Yeah, so if I can get this working. And this motor, I'll take it apart just lightly. If this thing has been redone or if it looks real good inside, man, I'm gonna put this right in mine and still rebuild that black one. Uh, but, you know, because those pistons were no good, I'm gonna have to come up with something else. I'm gonna have to get a new head. I'm thinking that might be a really good candidate for that uh, big bore kit. I'm sure, you, I don't know if you guys have seen them online, but they make a, make a big bore kit for these. 
um, uh, TC Brothers has it, and so does Mike's XS. It's like 650 bucks. Comes with new heads, pistons, everything, and uh, that'd be really cool. So um, that might be a perfect motor to do that with, instead of uh, trying to get all that to work. So next is the seat, which is totally fudged. See if we can get that to come off. But Steve has gotten pretty far on his bike and we are down to the finishing touches for getting his motor together. So it'd be really cool if I could, um, it'd be really cool if I could, you know, catch up with him considering the issues I had with deliveries and the issues I had with uh, mine. So if I was able to, uh, um, get this all cleaned up, get that in my bike, because that's what we want to do next is get these in the motorcycles. Man, we could really start getting into some fun stuff. So, let's figure it out. This is the battery Steve gave me, which was, uh, I think, brand new in his. So, this is cool. I wish it had a title. I don't know if I told you guys the story in detail, but uh, the guy's, uh, his friend, his wife, uh, him and his buddy, they were building this motorcycle together. They were rebuilding it. They had uh, an old Suzuki there and they had this and they were building them together. And the guy got in a divorce with his wife and she wouldn't give him the title. I think the title was in her name. So it sat, he said three years. And to be honest with you, it really doesn't look bad. So, you know, sometimes people say three or four years, it's really like 10 years. Um, I don't think this thing sat very long at all. That's why I did the Marvel's Mystery Oil, just to be safe because of it. It is in really good shape. I don't want to hurt it. I just want to get it in a position that it works well for us. All right, that was uh, simple enough. I think that's a tool. Yep, that's an old tool. <laughs> ah, check that out. That's cool as crap. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> These are nice to have. I just got one for free. Sweet. All right. It's the bike that keeps on giving, Clark. <laughs> All right. So I got that. I doubt anything's going to work. But, uh, you know, I'll turn it on. See what happens. Mr. Shits and Giggles. I'm turning things on. It says on. That's off, that's off. I don't think anything of this is connected. I mean, all this is like, all the wires are hanging out. Flux works. That's cool. If it had a key start, that's what they ripped out, but we're getting rid of all that, so that don't matter. I'll tell you what, um, I can't tell if we're able, if it's, receiving power yet, which I'll go through in just a second. So why don't we just see if she sparks. Oh, it turns over easily. Oh, wow, that's nice. All right, yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's see if we have spark. Let's go from there. Let's put these spark plugs back in. They're in real good shape. There's no reason to clean them off. Now, if we don't have spark, it just means I gotta get this battery to the pull. Cool. I again, I don't know if it's the key switch is like busted, so I don't know if it's turning a power source on. I'm sure it has to go through the key and then back to the coils. So 
If that's not working, we'll have to jump the coils, but that's not a big deal. But 200 bucks, man, even without a title, this is cool. I just love working on motorcycles. I love working on motorcycles. It's just so exciting just to pick these things up. I'm sure one day these excesses are going to get expensive, but right now they're still cheap. You can buy a nice one for a thousand bucks and tag it. That's we, Steve's. We paid six hundred bucks for. We could have drove it immediately. All right, I got a spark tool that I like. It's really easy to use. So I got this from Harbor Freight. They sell at the parts stores, but I got it from Harbor Freight for $1.99. And it works pretty good. So all we need to do is plug this part onto the spark plug wire. Hold it. Sorry. Like we're missing the head of these things, and then onto that. And when I'm kicking it over, it gets spark. It just lights up. Real simple tool to use. Now, nothing happened there, but again, I don't know where I'm at. So we got power here. Pretty weak power. All right. So what I did is I ran a uh, a line from the positive of the battery to the two brown wires uh, in the ignition uh, and tied everything else together. When I did that, I get power to the coil. Um, when I turn it over, but I'm still not getting spark whatsoever um, on the plugs. And I tried both sides, one with the old wire and one with the new wire. Either the coil's bad or these wires are bad. I, I'm, I'm going to fiddle with this just a little bit more and see what I can come up with. What I'm doing to start the bike, and you guys probably already know, but in case you don't, I'm just crossing these two with a screwdriver, and it's starting right up. But uh, we're not going to get anywhere until we get spark. So I'm going to keep trying. I do have another coil, though. So I'm definitely able to try that if this doesn't work. All right. So I just removed the wires and put the old wires back on just to make sure that wasn't the case. And that's not the case. So it's got to be the points then. And uh, so I'm going to go inside the points and clean them up. And hopefully that is what's causing our issue. Um, most likely that that's probably what's causing our issue. I was just hoping I wouldn't have to go into that. I'm not as good with that as I am with electronic, but I guess everybody says that. <laughs> but uh, let's take this apart and see, see how they're looking. All right, guys, round two. So I went ahead and cleaned the points up, and uh, they were dirty. They're, they're newer, but they're, they're definitely dirty. So I went ahead and cleaned them up. And I'm getting a light spark. I'm not getting a really strong spark, but I think that might also be because of how I'm hot wiring it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot now. Steve and I put a little starter fluid in it a second ago, and it, it did try to start over. The cable's not hooked up in the carburetor, so I'm not going to be able to give it any fuel, so I'm going to just soak them with starting fluid 
and um, and uh, choke it and see see if that'll be enough to do it. So we're gonna do that now. Don't worry, I'm not keeping the starter. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys tomorrow.